What have you got? Royal flush. Oh, fuck off. What's the matter? Why are you so stressed? <laughs> Why am I stressed? <laughs> really? Do you not realise how fucked this is? We've been given Mission Impossible. Yeah, and? We've dealt like shit with this before. Yeah, we have. Back when I was out in the field, we had funding, we had agents, we had talent. Plus it was different this time. We have an arsenal of hungry content creators that want money and, and fame, they have no skills or training, going through the most difficult training course in MI6 history. The one that we share ourselves in. <sighs> you don't need to bring that up. What's up now? <laughs> oh, sorry, nothing. Anyway, I've got no faith in a bunch of Mr. Beast's contestants will fluke that training program. Oh shit, I swear to god, if this is some sick twisted timing, then god's real. Hello? <sighs> Look, with all due respect, Mr. Williamson, there's no viruses on my BT router and it does not need an upgraded firewall. Look, if you could do me a favour and remove my number from your calling list. No, I can tell you a fact, it will not be a threat to national security. I am national security. <sighs> Harry, here's my card. Go to the bar for me. <sighs> what are you at? The usual? Aye. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? They, pa they passed? It's, it's a miracle. Oh my god. Boys, I can't thank you enough. I'll send you your package when I get the chance. The booze must have really hit you, huh? They fucking passed, Aged. They passed. You're such a fucking genius. I don't know how the hell you came up with this shit. Right. So what should we do? Do you reckon we send them out to get them, or...? Send them on a smaller mission first. Hmm. Probably a good idea if all things considered. They'll need some skills, and also we need to check that it wasn't a fluke like you just said. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well there's nothing much on the agenda currently. We've all of efforts have been going towards Harry. Good evening, this is BBC News at 6. Tonight's breaking stories. Local comedian and international drug smuggler Mohamed Pugh has been on the run after reports of a bomb at a local open mic night in Battlefield. Eyewitnesses told the BBC that you could feel the disaster brewing from the moment he stood on stage. East Renfrewshire MP Kirsten Oswald stands trial today after a recent SNP controversy. Kirsten was recently kicked from the party after eyewitnesses claimed that she rolled, quite possibly, the worst joint in the party's history. Popular indie bar and nightclub Firewater has been temporarily shut due to police investigations. After the recent closure of a nearby restaurant Lumfung, officials are saying that the CCP ties run much deeper in Glasgow than previously thought. And in sport, the recent relegation playoff between Dundee United and Partick Thistle has secured them the title of the deadliest football derby in the world. After the hatred exploded into a shoot, the SFA are currently working on solutions before the teams return to the same division. Now onto the reports, here's our comedy, correspondent Barry Blay. Eyewitnesses say they feared for their lives whilst Mom was performing his set last Tuesday. Many reports mention the very inhumane material he brought out on stage and that his comments towards every minority ever were brash and uncalled for. Luckily, zero people died in the incident. One was hospitalised to intensive care and four had minor injuries. According to many sources, this act was very out of character for Mom. He had only bombed one set previously, being his first stand-up performance but not nearly as bad as the incident that took place last Thursday. Moll is a computing student at university, however his passion lies in stand-up comedy. Moll showed interest in comedy from as young as six months old and has accrued four years of open mic experience. People were amazed at his ability to be funny and be a computing student at the same time and recently has begun to gain a sizable following. 
Mo had a recognisable style, mainly his red beret, which made him stand out. However, nine victims of Mo's bombing noticed that his iconic beret was missing. This was so unusual, a victim claimed that you could feel the disaster brewing from the moment he stood on stage. His five minute set started off poorly, according to eyewitnesses. There was zero mention of his typical young adult routine material and went straight to talking about the Holocaust. Many thought this was a play on how edgy teenagers can be with jokes, but this turned out to not be the case. Just two minutes into the set, and people were beginning to get worried when he said he was on the fence about Hitler. Maul was visibly worried, as he had zero laughs by this point. Finally, it was too much for him, and he ran off stage and out the front door, during which he detonated the many improvised explosives he planted around the bar. Maul fled the scene and into a building close by. Police are asking the public for any assistance. If anyone has an idea of what building you could be hiding in, please send a picture of the outside of the building to the authorities. Barry Blady signing off for BBC News. <sighs> well, isn't that perfect? This small guy is basically an up-and-coming terrorist. You know, he's smuggling drugs and setting off bombs. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Seems almost too perfect. You know an opportunity when you see it. I'll send the recruits a mission brief. <sighs> nah, it's fine, I'll do it. I want to have one more look at that news report because I think that Barry news reporter was onto something. Congratulations on passing that test. Some of the best agents the MI6 have to offer don't even pass them. Now, we have got a small mission to let you get some field experience whilst we finalise our plans on Harry Berry. The police are saying that they have a trail of clues for you to follow, since they have no officers in the area, and tasks for you to complete is bargaining for all. However, I swear that news report was trying to tell us something. I could be paranoid though, but you should have another look at it anyway. Maybe check what words he was using, or the graphics, or maybe the numbers, I don't know. Either way, either follow the police or find something in that news report and it should lead you to Mall. If you can't find anything in the news report, then you can follow the police's lead. They're asking for confirmation that you're in Battlefield, so go and find out how old the Battlefield cafe is and take a picture with you all inside. I wish you guys the best of luck.